What kinds of lessons can you create in Learn Worlds? And specifically, what does Learn Worlds feature that can help you create an engaging curriculum for your students? Hi, I'm Orit from Estatino Media, helping you create profitable content. I've designed and developed many course websites for our clients in Learn Worlds, and I get this question often of, what kinds of lessons can I create in this platform? Does Learn World support this type of lesson that I want to create? So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the different types of learning activities that you can create in Learn Worlds. And just semantics to clear that up, a learning activity in Learn Worlds is the same thing as a lesson. So I'll show you what I mean and let's dive right into it. So I'm in the back end or the dashboard of my Learn Worlds account right here. and under the content section, so I'm in the, the courses area, right? So here is where you can create a bunch of different courses. And when you click into any course, you'll see these different tabs at the top. In the contents section is where you will create and upload your curriculum. So the first thing you need to do is add a section. And this is just a section can be the same thing as the overarching module name. So let's just say this is called introduction. I'm going to leave it as a draft and hit save. You first have to create the sections and then within those sections, you can start to create the individual lessons or learning activities. So they mean the same thing here. So let me show you the different types of activities here. I'm gonna click on add activity and you'll see this box that pulls up. There's different categories of the types of learning activities that Learn Worlds has available to you. So the most common one is the multimedia category where this is, you can upload videos, interactive videos, eBooks, PDFs, SCORM packages, all this kind of thing. You could do live sessions, exams, self-assessments. So I'll walk you through each one of these so you can understand what's available to you when you're creating your curriculum within this platform. Now, I'm not going to do a deep dive on every single one of these because those would be separate videos here, but let's just do a quick overview. This video, this interactive video learning activity is one that allows you to upload a video and then you can use Learn World's features to make it interactive, meaning the student can click on certain areas in the video whether that's to answer a question, maybe a question has popped up on the screen, or to select certain hot spots in the video. Now, there's so many different things that you could do with this. It's not just about you know asking the, the student questions. It's about making it more engaging when they watch a video. So here's an example for you. I had a client who provides training for employees on workplace safety. So her lesson had a, in the video, it was showing a, a job site and she wanted the student to be able to hover over different sections of the job site and have a workplace safety tip come up. So it's really cool because Learn Worlds will allow you to pause the video, it'll stop the video, and then the student can interact with the video. Uh, it's definitely something that you wanna play around with and that's available to you. And of course, you can also just upload a regular video and not create that interactive element. The next thing here is an ebook. So you might already have a ready-made ebook ready to go. You might also just have a document of text and you can use Learn World's templates to make it more branded, more professional looking, and it's all ready to go. Like you, it, you see here, you can import a Word file and you can use their eye-catching templates and they're all responsive templates so people can see them on the, on the mobile as well. PDFs are pretty straightforward. Um, I'll come to SCORM in a second. Audio is pretty straightforward. Like if you want people to just listen to an audio, maybe it's a podcast, an interview. You can also input a YouTube video by pasting the embed code or a SoundCloud file, which is interesting. Now, what is SCORM? It's a type of file that allows you to have more portability with the content. So this comes in handy if you're doing B2B. So if your courses, you want to sell your courses to organizations, to other businesses who then want to take that material and put it in their own learning management system, then you would upload SCORM files here to your Learn World site so that it's easy portability for them to download that and put it in their own LMS. It's basically a type of file that packages all of your learning, your information together, the video, the interactivity, assessments, all that kind of stuff right in here. So these are all of the multimedia learning activities here. 
Now you can also do live sessions and these are pretty straightforward as well. Let's say you have a course and you do a weekly live session within that course. Well, you can connect with Zoom or WebEx. You can choose between whether it's a one-on-one -on -one live session or a group live coaching session. So if you already have Zoom or WebEx, you would select one of these. A meeting is more so for maybe if you're holding live Q and A's um, where users can kind of jump in, or if you're doing that once a week live session for all students, then a Zoom webinar would be more applicable here. But if you don't have Zoom or WebEx, maybe your live video conferencing tool is integrated with a Calendly, then what you could do is select group session or one-on-one, -on -one, depending on what is reflective of what you're doing, and it would automatically connect your Calendly account so that their learners can reserve their spot in your calendar, and when they sign up, they get that information on how to join the live through your Calendly integration. Next is exams. I like how they allow you to input, like create an exam from scratch, but also you can use their tools to create exams. They vary between um, a graded SCORM file, this goes back to what SCORM is, um, but you can also create a graded exam with either closed or open-ended questions. So this is if you wanna really start from scratch or you can use their templates here. So you see here there's a text assignment. Graded exam templates with a text assignment question. After submission, you'll be asked to grade the student's responses and provide feedback. There's also a graded exam if you want a student to, let's say they have an assignment to do and you want them to upload that assignment or a file related to the exam, then this is the one that you would choose right here. They also have video assignments and audio assignments. And keep in mind, certain learning activities are only available for the pro trainer account or other plans in Learn Worlds. So I'm showing you what's available to you so you can see, oh, if this is something that you'd be interested in, make sure it's it's on the Learn Worlds plan that you're getting. And I'll put a link in the description below to Learn Worlds so you can check out their pricing plans. Next is self-assessment. So again, you can create a self-assessment from scratch. These are more reflective type activities. You're essentially giving your students the ability to assess their own knowledge. Uh, and this comes in the form of reflections, writing down thoughts, giving their feedback to you, multiple choice questions, you know, anything that you can already have the answers to and instantly show them the answers. This is a quick self-assessment so that they can see right away, get instant feedback on the knowledge. So you can choose from these different areas here. And again, they have templates that you could play around with. Like you see here, write your views, goals, emotions, or upload your work. There's diary templates or reflection journals. So the difference between self-assessment and exam is that self-assessment is more for the student. It's not related to a specific grade that they're going to get. It's instant feedback. An exam is, is a graded assessment and is likely used in the event that you want to give out a certificate, um, certificate of completion, that type of thing. Forms. All right. So forms is also a great learning activity to put into your course so that you're getting feedback from the students. You're evaluating where they're at, but it's also a form of engagement of them actually putting skin in the game and filling something out. Um, maybe, you know, you could use this for goal setting as well. Uh, and it gives you, again, a bunch of templates ready to go, or you can create it from scratch. So just to show you some of the templates, you can just put in an activity here, which is good for the introduction section of your course to introduce yourself. And it already comes with 13 questions. You can allow students to rate your course and make suggestions if they have any improvements. And that comes with three questions. This is a longer course evaluation. You can, for example, if you're doing live sessions, set up a learning activity where it's a pre event feedback form so you get information about from the attendees about their participation and then also a post event so get feedback from the live session so i really love the depth that learn worlds has gone to create these types of very specific engagement pieces so it's not just uploading videos or text it's it's really engaging with the students both them getting feedback from you and you getting feedback from your students so you can make the course even better. Over here is where you would create your certificate. 
learning activity. So there's two types. There's a certificate that you can award to someone after completing an exam, uh, not just completing, but you can also set specific grade for them to pass. And once they hit that grade, get that grade or above, they will be awarded the certificate. And the other type of certificate is just as long as they completed the course, they get the certificate as well. And you can, another thing that's really cool is uh, LearnWorlds has a default certificate that they can give to students, but you can also upload your own and customize it with your branding. So that again, is just all in line with, um, with your school, with your academy. And the last one here is the embed learning activity. So if none of these really, you know, if you're looking for something else, this is where the embed comes in handy. For example, let's say you don't have Zoom or WebEx, um, you actually use a different video conferencing software, let's say it's GoToMeeting, then you can grab the embed code for from that GoToMeeting video conference and create an embed learning activity where you paste the code and they'll be able to engage in that live session with you within your Learn World school because it's embedded within the curriculum here. They also have I mean, you could do many other things with embed code, but that's just one example. They also ha allow you to embed a slide share. So if you have a slide deck on SlideShare, you could put that in there uh, or just to add an external link. And this comes in handy if, for example, you uh, you want to create a section or a module with additional resources and you can just include a bunch of external links that students can go and explore. So those are the learning activities that are available to you. And if you could use some help in setting up your own school or setting up your course, your website, I do offer design and development services and consulting services. So I'm gonna link to that in the description below where you can tell me more about your project and we can get on a call to find out if we'd be a good fit. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.